Future Davis, the singer. Don't try to tell me. I, I just want to make you with you. So I started with this solo journey. I'll be careful. Call if I were leaving. Then no one will be there to hurt me. No, they don't deserve me. And you've been performing for how long? Two years. How, how did you come to find Magic? Like, Oh, I met Magic um, at a club, and I just, but I was always seeing him on social media, and I always just really just thought big of him, and so I walk up to him, was just like, hey, I just want to let you know you were real, yeah, I don't know how I say that, but I just want to let you know you were real, um, just by, just always watching him go live, and, you know, relating to his stories, and the things that, you know, he put and teach out there, so, and then, we basically became friends and um I was just, you know, over in the studio, you know, never really been in the studio before and uh Magic was like, um In his studio? In his studio, yep. Um and he just like, Oh yeah, you about to get in the studio, you know, you about to get in the booth and I'm like, I don't know. Like, oh, you wasn't an artist. No. Oh, I'd oh. never been in the studio before before him before Ado Studios, so I was like, oh, okay. I was just so nervous, like, I was really, really nervous. But, shoot, he put me on there, and that was my first time hearing myself, and I just got addicted to it. Yeah, it's like you you a full artist. Like. Yes, <laughs> yes, so, yeah, yeah I would say um, we found each other, but then he, he, he found me. That's what I would say, as an artist, like, Put me on these platforms, and I was just like, it was all different for me. But yeah, yeah, you you know, if some <clears> people <throat> find the wrong people that make a catastrophe, and yes. then there's some right people that make the shit. Happen, yes, yes. So know? yeah, I definitely uh, think he did a great job. He's doing a great job. Um, just look, I'm never, I've never stopped. Yeah. yeah. So uh, did you? Was you in? into church or no that's one thing that I really wish that I could say like oh yeah I used to sing in the choir and I never I never sung in the choir or anything Man. yeah I just always just sung to myself and so how did he know you sing oh because of us being friends you oh, know okay. he followed me on social media and I used to upload videos of me singing like different covers yeah. And um, so that's how he knew I knew how to sing. Yeah. So they were like, "Yeah, you about to get, you about to get in the booth now." And I'm like, "No, I'm not. Okay, I don't yeah. know why. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna sound like." And but yeah, and and uh, we recorded "Panties Down" that night. That was my first single, first song, everything. Yeah, and then you just stuck with it. Stuck with it. Like I really just got addicted to it because uh, that day I found my passion. Yeah, I knew I liked to sing. But that day, I, when I really heard myself, you know, in the studio, it became a passion. Yeah. And when you learn the studio, you can do so much. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so I feel like I'm in the studio. I got a lot of experience mm -hmm. because of being in the studio every day, 30 days straight. I had to write a song a day and yeah. come to the studio. And that's what it really, yeah. So he, he gave you some tasks. Yes. It was like homework. Tomorrow, yeah. bring bring another one. Bring another one, you know, and he would. So not only did I write the song and record the song, it was on uh, all platforms that night. Right. You see, <laughs> see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, all right, let me. So I was posting different album covers every day. New single, new, new single, new single. Like yeah. every day, just super duper consistent. And um, I just really got hungry for it. So like, tell me some a little bit about the way you prepare to write. Like, do you got a, a process or? Yes. Um, I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning every morning. And I have my three cups of coffee. And it's just quiet. And that's, like, my, where my brain is most fresh and just more, I could put all these words together and yeah. uh, really just make good music. And um, I listen to instrumentals, like, all day, beats and you know, connecting with producers. So I'll save something and be like, I'm going to listen to that, you know. And my best time, I listen to music, which is 5 a.m. Yeah. 
So I, I walk around with headphones all day. Yeah. I don't put it on no big speaker or nothing. I just headphones and like that. That was my process. But mm-hmm. it, the thing was, I didn't want to be polluted by other people's music. Yes. So like, I don't. I, I I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I don't listen to other people's music anymore. So when I am like out going out for a drink or something and I actually hear music, I'm like, wow, it feels good to enjoy, just sit, enjoy music, yeah. not do music because I just like, I don't listen to other people's music. I'd rather listen to beats yeah. and stuff like that. I, I, I don't need the words of other people because right now I can say I'm not influenced by anybody. And that would that would what keeps well, me musically. Yeah, musically. Yeah. yeah, like I don't wanna get on get in the studio trying to sound like somebody else. Yeah. Because I've been listening to Beyonce all day and that's not my yeah. leg. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, I cannot do that. And, and, Who told and you? It's not, not like you purposely do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like everything music is a part of your soul. Yes. Yeah. And my lane that I'm really reaching for right now, I do all types of music, yeah. but the lane that I'm really reaching for and want to stick to eventually is neo soul. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I um. Let me see. So, on that note, tell me some of the people that inspired you. Um, in the, in the industry, in, in the, the city, industry. or well, well, I'm gonna come to the city. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the industry because, mm-hmm. like, I. I don't think I really, when I listen to you, you know, I I, I think it's the new age, mm-hmm. you know, but it's like, Mo3 changed the game up. Yes. You know what yes. I'm saying? And like, yeah, so I, I wouldn't say, I would say it's model behind that, but it ain't. Right. You know, right. it's just he made a big mark. You yes. know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. so give me a couple of your industry. That? Definitely Brandy and Lauren Hill, mm-hmm. Jill Scott and Erica Badu. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, and that's like back in the day. Yeah. Um, hungry wise, um, uh, Glorilla. Mm. Her story, she, her story is like just so dope to me, and she is like managed to get ahead of all these big artist so fast yeah. because she never stopped and she really like put her story out there yeah. you know so it's just like glow really you gonna hear her whether you she in your playlist or not you know what i mean and yeah. I, that's, just, that's i respect that it don't even really have to be her music her words and it's just that, that's her, what i was yeah. about to say yeah. she touched people with different than that. not yeah. only music mm-hmm. yeah, country, it's the story yeah yeah okay um I ain't cut you off, did I? No, I no, you're good. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right. Um, like in the city, like, like, tell me. Well, let me add something else to that. Give me a couple rappers. Rappers? Yeah. In the city? No, not in the industry. Ooh, I love K Camp. Mm. K Camp is like, he speaks so poetic to me. Yeah. And just real. Shit, like he is just like his flow. Yeah. It's just like he just sit down and just talk and make music. That's what I imagine when I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he he really make me be in touch with um my inner feelings. Like you can speak your truth and all that on a track. Well, he kind of do the 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 Mo three kind of scene. Yes, yep, yeah, yeah. My my favorite song is Forgiveness by him. So yeah, yeah. you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> So, um, like, what genre, like, or style would you get at? Because uh, I don't really can't think of, like, uh, you're right. I mean, you was right the first time, you know, it's, yeah. it's in that lane with Mo3. Yeah. But, I don't know. Mo3 got us. Mo3, he, he coming from his soul. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, Cake help coming from here. You know, whether that's memories, uh, you know, however you organize this song to make it seem like you really talking to me, I love it. You see what I'm yeah. saying? It's like a more 
therapeutic. Like, just listen to his words. Yeah. You know what I mean? To me. So, uh, well, I see you get the the artist like that, so that explains your style. Yes. You know, you just ain't got just doing music. Like, no. You know, some people just make songs and it just be songs. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, like, other than that, I really don't listen to a lot of, like, rap. Yeah. I really don't. Um, it's just really kind of, like, not my style to really, like, just listen to it. But I like stuff where, you know, like, KK. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Give me some influence in the city. Like, and, and coming up, like, with. In age, you know what I'm saying? Like, you did okay. you were listening to Magic or did you listen to Clemmy or, you know? Um, I'm going to honestly say I did not. Um, I wasn't even in touch with local artists before I started doing music. So when I started doing music, it, like, introduced me to all these names I've been hearing. I've been hearing, but never stop to listen to like oh yeah I heard him I heard him you know what I mean like I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say oh yeah I was listening to Magic Wine before this not I wasn't but I knew like I wasn't like just like typing in it you know what I mean yeah. I knew of him though yeah but you wouldn't search actually. yes search. yeah I wasn't like yeah. going to shows and, and all that stuff but I definitely knew of him I knew exactly who he was well let me ask you this since you 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 are more on the side of closer to a normal person mm -hmm. than an artist. Uh -huh. well, yes. I, you yeah. know what I'm saying by mm -hmm. that. Yep. Like, what do you think it is that why it ain't prominent to pay attention to the local artists here in Toledo? What, not saying that it's a bad thing. Like you said, you just wasn't aware of right. it. Right, yeah. Like, and what do you think is the the disconnect with that? Before I became an artist, um, I feel like I just, that's what you do. You listen to the people that's already famous. Yeah, you know, true. you listen to, the radio tell you what to listen to, kind of, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yes, but now that, like, if that's answering your question, but now that I'm an artist, like, and now it's not even about being a just the artist, it's about having a passion and wanting people to support you. So it's like you naturally give that same respect. So now I go to shows even though, even though I'm not performing. Mm -hmm. Just shows, just being in the building. People really appreciate that. And it makes you a likable person. So that would make people like tap in with me. Like, you know, she's like a real person. Like, you know what I mean? She's standing up watching me perform. Got her phone out. I like that. Let me go check out what she got. You know, I just want the same support that I'm giving. That's understandable. Yeah. It, it, that is it, it's enlightening to hear that, you know what I'm saying, the, that you wasn't aware of it. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't. Because some people think that the city ain't listening <clears throat> because they not promoting or they know or or they not promoting you know what I'm yeah saying? It, it's just it's we need to do the research and to find out what we really need to do to get the city popping well I, I feel like with me like I can really speak truthfully like I can really only speak for myself and how I handle that is I just stay in their face mm. Basically, like, I'm a, you know, consistent, never taking a break, staying in their face. Oh, she's here, she's there, she's there, she's there. I'm everywhere. Eventually, you're going to say, let me press this link. What does she do? I keep seeing her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make them pay attention. Yep. Yeah. And then, when you got good music, too, if you keep pushing it, it's just like anything, just like with this show. Yeah. You know, it started off a couple of people watching out. It's doing good numbers. Yes. You yes. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's being consistent. Yes. You know? Consistency is definitely the key. Yeah. To everything. <laughs> Man. All right. Tell me what 
set you apart from different R&B artists. Okay. In the not locally, I'm gonna say as a whole. Um, there's nobody in the industry that looks like me right now. I really feel that way. We're like, I'm saying like that's doing today. Like, so I'm like, yeah, I got the look. And what I compare that to is like, I want to be the 2023 Lauren Hill, you know, that um just that good urban music and you know what I mean so um and definitely my story where I write from and how I'm touching the people who's listening to me and I yeah yeah so I think I answered that like early I'm not gonna say oh because I know I'm the best singer in the world no I'm not saying that it's just like and my whys, my reasons, and everything is what separates me. My heart is in a good place. Yeah. You know, I'm not out, I'm not out here in competition. I, I want us all to win. That's why I like to do a lot of collabs with the city. Because I just feel like, okay, well, my name popping. Like, like come on, let's, let's do something together. We both can, you know what I mean? Whether you a consistent artist or not, I'll still work with you. Yeah. Well, that's the key to it. Like, when... I think that back in the day, that's what's missing now. Mm -hmm. A lot of artists piggyback with each other. You know what I'm saying? That is true. Yeah, I don't see that a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With that being said, tell me some memorable features and that you or collabs that you can have. That's okay. Yes. Yeah, so uh, that's like tough because I really think everybody is just fire. Uh, when I first started music, it took magic forever, really, to do a song with me. I'm like, I want to do a song with you, I want to do a song with you. And he like, I know, like, well, right now I'm building you, you know. I'm established. I need you to get, you know. So, but when we first, you know, did our first collab together, like, I was just like, yeah, I knew we was all good together. I was, like, super happy about that. Yeah. It was, like, favorite song for a long time. Um, but definitely my um, favorite I did my favorite story. Uh, Cheetah, um, we did Trap Christmas. Yeah, that's what I was about to yep. say. With, uh, on the sleigh down there. Yep, right yep. Downtown. Yeah, I seen the video. That's my favorite feature. <laughs> you know, um, let's go Magic One, Cheetah. <laughs> you know, yeah. not what you know, but yeah, definitely. Like, I, the reason why I say Cheetah is because we just definitely did our thing. Like, yeah. I was in Atlanta at the time, you know, I, we did all this, like, when I'm out of town, and, um, you know, sometimes it's not even the person sound, or they flow, or, mm-hmm. you know, that uh, makes them my, my favorite feature, but it's the professionalism. Yeah. The, you know, I pay for the session, all you gotta do is show up. You know what I mean? It's that, on time, you like, man, I gotta get in, she ain't answer the phone, none of that. I like people who, like, Get down to business. Yeah. That's understandable. And not playing with each other time. You know, people really holding on to million dollar songs right now. I really, like, just got them in a bank. Yeah. And it's like, drop it. Like, y'all did fire. You know what I mean? It's just like. Well, tell me, tell me a feature that you think somebody got in the bank that's going to make an impact that when it drop. Um. That you and somebody else is on the song. Okay, I was me and Boom the Bomb. Mm-hmm. We have a fire song like we have. That, that's he be doing the uh, the the battle like the uh, cypherts, right? Um, he was in a cipher, yeah, that I believe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was his cipher though. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. So yeah, but uh, me and Boom the Bomb, we definitely put together a fire sound, and I'm just like. That's one of them, like, when is he dropping that? Like, yeah. you know, when is we, because that's, I just feel like, yeah, it's definitely fire. Tell me some, what advice would you give to an artist that want to become a, to a person that want to become an artist? Um, that I know music is all fun and music is all great and you're making this sound, but you got to make sure you take care of the business behind the music. Before. Before. Behind, before. What I mean by that is, 
You can have a song on all platforms, but are you actually getting paid for the song? Yeah. It um are you receiving your royalties? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to do all this thing? Do you know that you can get paid for all your shows? You know? Mm -hmm. Do you like it's just really like just don't be so blind. Like don't just look at oh yeah, it's for fun. We all wanna get paid. Yeah. It ways of um you know, making your money back after you pay five hundred for a video. You know, you gotta eventually you want to make some money off of that. So and that's having your paperwork behind, you know. You 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 um can do like features out here, but like even if you do a free feature, it don't necessarily have to be free. You can split royalties. Some people don't know that. Yeah. Some people just walk away like, All right, yeah, thanks for having me. <clears throat> thanks for having me. <laughs> and just like, uh -huh. I guess I get 100% of the song, but not saying anything like that, but I'll just say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, and that, that's what I, I think we lose a lot of good artists that didn't do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like me, I was different. I was mm -hmm. an artist, but I also ran a business as a studio. So, yeah. I always got paid for the music. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and if you're not getting paid for it, why would you continuously do it? Yeah, like, even if it's your passion, you still, like, got to make some money. Like, you know, people are like, I just do it for fun. But, like, do you know you can be getting paid? Yeah. You know? Like, what if this song blow? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just, like, and you featured on that. And you don't even receive a dime. But the whole world know your name. Yeah, and then you wrote your verse. Then you wrote your verse. That's the killer part. So, so, so the person is about to get a whole check. And, you know what I mean? Cause you ain't make sure that paperwork and that you know, so if I do a f feature, and I'm not gonna say a free feature, but if I do a feature just on a strength, I'm gonna let you know. Here go my email. Uh, yeah. Send me the paperwork for splits, like you know. Mm -hmm. I definitely know things you see, yeah. but it's all I learned with experience though. Experience, experiences in the music has taught me to know my business. Mm -hmm. No, you do not get a taken advantage of. That. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. It's just like, well, no, I, I'm gonna say, 2020 was a year of women. Mm -hmm. Like, and and the fact that it was such a strong uproar of mm -hmm. of empowerment that from there. A woman could do anything. Do anything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, and and you know, just to be be clear, just not never been played or nothing like that. But I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Never, really, yeah, nothing been played. But you know, I'm just aware. Yeah. Let me go back to one of our first interviews. Magic was one of our first interviews, mm -hmm. and I remember him saying something in the interview about you. Like he said, he said to you, like when. You started doing music, you gonna lose a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. Like, tell me a little bit about that experience. Well, I, um, yeah, I feel like I, I wrote a song called "Lonely at the Top" mm -hmm. because I felt like nobody was there for me. Um, not like no support. It's like they everybody showed up to the first performance and me first time performing at the Eastside Cantina. And then it's like, when I start taking it serious, everybody thought, mm. yeah. she, 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 this was supposed to just be fun, <laughs> or she's at the studio every day and, and all that. So basically, I'll get straight to a story. I had a boyfriend at the time. Mm. And when I met him, I wasn't doing music. And um, so when I started doing music, you know, he did not like it. He, he liked my music. But he did not like me being an artist. And he really, we really, we, wait, wait, we broke. Me, yeah. <laughs> let me ask you something because, all right, so it do work the same way as groupies? With like women and men? Like, do you have them? Yes. Like, but is it just a thirsty man or is it like a groupie? I won't, I don't call it a groupie and I don't call it a thirsty man. I call it infatuation over the internet. Okay. Yes, because okay. that's what it is. Yeah. I do have men that's infatuated with me. Yeah. It's like they, they don't know me. 
They just infatuated. Mm. Like, cause I, I, I can see, like, cause I deal with it with yeah. the women. Uh huh. Like, so with uh, with you having a boyfriend at the time, was that kind of what he was putting off about the? Yeah, he basically feel like he can't have, he could not have his woman out there, like in the studio doing shows, living, life. living. <laughs> <laughs> living because that's what I was doing yeah and um that's just you know that was just like a lot of um trust and and I'm just like trust issues and I'm just like what you drop me off to the studio you pick me up the studio like I'm including you in everything like you can come like and you know at that point I was like really hurt because I was just like I really he just broke up with me because mm. I chose music he 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 literally made me choose he made me choose, and I chose music. So right there, I just felt like maybe I'm supposed to be alone in this. Yeah. Maybe I'm supposed to, you know, until I go get where I'm trying to go. Because yeah. guys, they, like, okay, guys would be infatuated with me. And then if we start to date or something like that, they think I'm supposed to slow down and, you know. And, so you want to infatuate yeah, another man. Yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So times at the studio, they, I don't know what they think go on there. And they just like, I think people be like thinking like when I'm at the studio, that it's like a whole bunch of guys around, everybody smoking. Well, it's just one. It, that, that's the, the one enough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And not, yeah. they, when they not knowing that magic got his peoples right yeah. here, you know what I'm saying? But 90% of the time I'm in the studio, it is just me. You know what I mean? It's just me, maybe one person. But but in, when I tell somebody I'm in the studio, they think I'm like at a club. <laughs> you know, like you know, cause yeah, like I was just like I was just like, what do you think goes on here? Yeah. You know, but yeah, so I, I've been single since. So uh, that that was a how, how long was y'all together before that? We, you know what I you know what I call situations like that a season. <laughs> you know. <laughs> It was a seasonal thing. Yeah. And, you know, I just was just like, it wasn't nothing I couldn't walk away from until he that. So, wait, imagine, imagine if you would have gave it up and you so in love with it now. I would have regretted it. Yeah. I would have been a lifelong regret. Yeah, I would have regretted it because I see a lot of people be like, oh, my nigga, come back. And I start to be the hardest thing. That you don't need to answer. No. Oh, okay, okay. That gotta be the hardest thing to do to try to make a comeback. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Cause I just I've had not stopped since I started. I have not took a break since I started or nothing. Yeah. It's just like I don't want to be just trying to get be you know just you could really go high places with this. Mm. I want to see what those high places like. Yeah. shoot yourself in the foot. Yeah, yeah. That's hard. Not over a relationship though, like so relationships um eventually die. Yeah. You know, the real ones will be still be there and the the ones will and I and I learned that everybody is just not meant to go on this journey with you.